All right, in this example, we want to graph f of x equals 3 times the tangent of x minus pi over 4. So step 1 is to identify our a, b, c, and d. So a is 3, b is 1, c is a positive pi over 4, and sometimes when I do a positive there, I like to put a little right arrow to remind myself it, that uh, it moves to the right, and d is 0. Okay. So um, before we start with all this, I want you to um, play around with this a little bit, and you can just do this right on your calculator. You could just play with y equals tangent of x. you got to have the right window, of course. So your x would be negative pi. Uh, yeah, you could have it be negative pi. Pi x to pi. You're going to want to go pi over 2 as your x scale. And then here's with your y, you're going to want it to be big enough so you can see what goes on. So negative 10 to 10. So play around with a little, a little bit of this, so you can figure out when a is greater than 1, you'll figure out that the curve gets, I'm just going to call it steeper. But you play around with it and you come up with your own word. And then when a is, here, graph another one too, graph negative 5 tangent x. And then you'll find that when a is less than 0, which means negative, that it's going to reflect or flip over the x-axis. So on your own, you can play around with that and do that. Um, and when we sketch it, I'll show you how just to sketch the three. And again, it's just a sketch. It's not a, um, you don't have to find points and all that kind of stuff. All right, so do that one on your own. And um, then let's just get busy in graphing this translation that has a phase shift. So because b is 1, then I know my period has not changed. So I know that the period equals pi. So this is really a pure graph, um, but with an amplitude change and a phase shift. So let's go ahead and graph, graph it with a period of pi. So we're first going to start with knowing our we have an x-intercept at 0. And then we've got an asymptote at, I'm going to do these in a lighter color, and I'll talk about that. So I have an asymptote at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2. And then I'm going to graph, the, uh, that's what the tangent looks like right there. So we graph that. Okay. Now, we know that it's going to move to the right, shift to the right, pi over 4. So what you're going to do is you're going to take um, your asymptotes and move your asymptotes to the right, pi over 4. And um, you know, when we did sine and cosine, we did different colors, and you can certainly do different colors. Um, it can get confusing to have a lot of dotted lines. So I would suggest for this one, you make these very light. And then when you phase shift it, well, those you can make a little darker. Okay, so it's going to move to the right, pi over 4. So there's pi over 4. So my new asymptote, I'm doing it darker, is going to be pi over 4. At, uh, right there, pi over 4 shifted, and the other one's going to be right here. Both of them move to the right, pi over 4. All right, and then the other thing that changes is your x intercepts. They also move to the right, pi over 4. So instead of right there, it's going to be right there. And then you're just going to sketch in. Oh, I'm going to do this at the same time. When you sketch that in, because it's a 3, it's going to be steeper. And I'm just going to make it steeper. Okay. Does that look a little steeper? It should look a little steeper. Let's try that again. There we go. Not as curvy as the other one. All right. So important here to distinguish 
your new graph so I know what is what and so you know what is what. You also will want to make sure I know which asymptotes go along with this. Okay, um, And this one can get kind of, in my opinion, get a little sloppy because look how many asymptotes we have there. But you can do the pure graph ones lighter, you can do the shifted ones darker, and then you can definitely um, you can do different colors. You can also indicate with arrows. Alright, so that's how we do a phase shift. I'm not going to do a vertical shift, but I'm just going to let you know if the vertical shift is positive or if it was negative. All you would do then is take the, the um, X intercepts and the graph and move those up. Your asymptotes don't change. So you would just then move everything up or everything down. So you would do that last. Alright, so this is the end of this example.